not far from the sea, a shadow of sickness had been cast, brought on by rats and fleas. And in a forest in this land, inhabited by peasants, lived mother and daughter Julia, humble both and pleasant. A game, said Julia, of chess to play. Her mother, unimpressed, said silly games are not important and waste the day at best. But please, begged Julia, just one, then no more. It's all I want to do. Just one game, and then that's it. She stomped off in a fume. Typical, thought Mother, of my daughter to ask to play when times are hard and work is tough to make it through the day. Julia gave in reluctantly to ensure the work was done. She helped her mother through the day till the dark of night had come. <sighs> Julia let out a sigh and gave up in a pout. Then looking out, she saw great lights and decided to go out. Remember, Mother told Julia, not to leave the house in any circumstance, as the sickness could infect her, so not to take the chance. Julia stopped, lost in thought, and heeded her mother's warning. She knew how dangerous it was out there, and it wasn't even morning. A game of chess was all she wanted, something fun and light. Mother wanted none of it, and said, My dear, good night. Julia woke up in a fright, her mother still in bed. Julia was there for mother, but sensed impending dread. What's wrong? asked Julia. Her mother could hardly speak. I'm ill, groaned mother. Julia said, I'll get help, but please don't go to sleep. Julia ran out of the house. She sensed impending death. She ran and ran and ran and ran till she was out of breath. Smack! She tripped and as she fell, she felt so very foolish. Then, getting up quite gingerly, a spider thing most foolish. Who are you? asked Julia. Plague is my name, said the rat. My mother said I should not go near you. 
Well, she's very wise in that. I hear you like games. A game of chess? Play against me, and if you win, I will lift the sickness from this nation, and your mother's health will thrive again. But if you lose, I warn, you and your mother will be my slaves. The sickness will grow ever more, and long will be the days. Deal, said the girl, as she thought of mother. She always wanted to play a game, and this one would help her mum recover. What colour am I? asked Julia. You are white, answered the rat, for that is the colour of purity and innocence, and I, plague, am always black. And so, a game of chess was played, between players white and black, for the fate of mother and the nation, for Julia or the rat. Silly rat, checkmate! I've won this game of your creation! Now heal my mother as you promised, and lift plague from this nation. The rat smiled a sly smile and laughed. Foolish girl, I have caught another. For this is my game of which I am a master, for death and I are brothers. A rat would never keep his word, it's just a game we play. You and your mother are mine forever in this game of fate today. The rat felt something and looked up. And as Julia could tell, the rat had suddenly met his match as a single snowflake fell. What is this? exclaimed the rat. Big and small flakes all around. Plague could not endure the cold and shriveled up on the ground. The rat was dead and the plague was gone, but Julia must confess that being there with mother was better than playing games with death. I'm here! called Julia. Mother said, it is strange, I'm feeling much better than I was earlier. I wonder what has changed. Julia told her mother the fantastical tale. Then her mother noticed the cold. She hugged her daughter and embraced her for being so very bold. How about a game, asked mother, right now of chess to play. She sat down and so did Julia, and they played chess for the day. And that is the story of Fate's game. Rat and Plague both gone away. But Plague never truly dies, and may be back again one day.